are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the London Black Knights and our home team. Both of these teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. drive with Jennings on the ground and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there he was brought down three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down pickup brings up second and seven Second down, here's the option. Quick throw here by Allen, complete. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That catch good for five, it's third down. If you're these receivers, you gotta be ready because when he's gonna throw it quick on that RPO, he's gonna throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the off season, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing and he knows get the ball to him right away. On third down, it's Jennings and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. The Bills send the punt. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this... And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that will be incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. It's fourth down. The punt team on now as this one sent away. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. 
So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and ten. Back to throw. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Accelerating and off he goes. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bills have taken the early lead. What an excellent run. And from the beginning, the defense just looked a little fooled, a little out of position. A little bit frozen, too. Because when you hand the ball inside, you lose sight of it oftentimes as a defender. And your eyes naturally gravitate to the quarterback. And before they realized it, he was often running through the thick of the line while the quarterback faked it and carried it outside. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Right back to him on first down. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's a second and seven. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. Complete four yards on the completion, Andrews. and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag third routes, down. you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got it at the 15. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. C.D. Lamb with touchdown number 12 on the year. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, check right now. Check right, 
on play action. Allen looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get, taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They run the counter. It's Jennings. Jennings lost the football. It's going the other way. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. Fumble on the play. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. That catch good for only a couple. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session. If he's saying, hey, run that one back, coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. More time. And they won't. Eight more time. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. Seven seven. Our score after one. The score tied seven to seven. Second and eight coming up. Here's Jennings. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Now it's Jennings. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards into Chicago, first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. 
run down. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. This is Jennings. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Jennings. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. This one to Singletary. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now a run with Singletary. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So they're backed up to the three yard line, second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the three yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bills have taken the lead. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score. Bills 14. Black Knight 7. Justin Rohrwasser set to kick off. Following the touchdown, Rohrwasser handles the kickoff duties. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. back and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down tackle made that time by dalvin tomlinson they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal get a couple of first downs run some plays run some clock allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score On play action, they'll throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. 
Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Right now. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and ten at the Bills' 37. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A gain of 14. First down, Black Knights. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Touchdown CD Lamb. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken. Successfully. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. come to the line to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The Bills send the punter out. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. 
13 yards, the tally on the return there. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. fake he'll look to throw he's gonna let this go back of the end zone and that is caught but how about that one he reeled it in one-handed for a touchdown a sensational one-handed grab of the end zone for the score looked like you at the davis turkey bowl every year in the backyard in orlando florida oh uh, you're so kind that's definitely in my mind but how about this they always tell guys going after the ball the receivers especially you gotta have a single-minded obsession to go get it how about going up with a single hand and making that happen I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. come to the line to start their next drive and what do you think goes on here in this situation if you got the football you're trailing you're back in your own territory with just a little time do you try oh Allen cannot get away and down he goes now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that one will fall incomplete. Allen's pass. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. The Bills send the punter out, standing right on his own five-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Incomplete on the deep ball. Brings up second and ten. They work again from the 38 on second and ten. Come on, come on. 
He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Let's take over first and 10 at their own one-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at He's got a man complete! And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for. That time it costs them. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Justin Vorwasser set to kick off. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Taken about seven yards deep. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. From the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you. Keep it to short gains. And you pile up statistics. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And, yes, out come the flags. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And this is incomplete. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. throw. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On fourth down, they'll try to run for it. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. And the fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now they try the right side here. Fights off another. And the second tackler would have learned from the first. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Darren Lee. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. First down, London. And they'll try the jet sweep here. He will push his way down to about the 14. Big winner Williams there on the stop. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. CeeDee Lamb is intended target. That takes us from second to third down. 
Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Takes this about five yards deep, and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. He finds an opening past the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Now, the good thing for you, partner, is you're not as old as I am. Okay? So, true. so back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, <laughs> the right side of an offensive line was almost always your power side. Your bigger, stronger, physical guys. On this play, they tossed it right and looked like it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's not the case so much anymore, you're saying, with the bigger guys. And not, not necessarily you find the best guys plug them in on your own line right as a general rule now you're a lot more balanced on your offensive line it might still lean towards your best pass blocker on the left side sure but not necessarily all the time so after the run for no gain here's second and ten now a handoff looking right they find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. First down, Jennings. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Jennings. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a first down on a gain of 10. 10 at the 13-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run here with Singletary. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Devin Singletary, his third touchdown now on the year. 
And the Bills have cut it to within a score. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up from offensive line, collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? They'll take over first down and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Fence back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Going to give this time to the tailback. That's a gain of six on the first down run. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. 13 yards remaining on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be brought down Another just shy of the 45. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and four. play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline just 34 yards on the punt there no return and possession will switch hands first and 10 on 17 yard line The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. They start the drive with Jennings. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. No on the play. Second and 10 at the 18-yard line. A 
officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Firing quickly is Allen. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, it's Jennings. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. They run again with Jennings. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They will run with Singletary. Through an opening, and there he goes. Touchdown, Chicago! Devin Singletary with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bills have retaken the lead. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Following the touchdown, Roar Wasser handles the kickoff duties. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First down and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to re... And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Gain on the play. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Now left side on the swing pass. And down inside the 15 he goes. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He's at the 40, 20, 10. They ain't ready for and us. This is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 35. Black Knights, 24. Justin Warwasser set to kick off. 
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call that a loss of seven to bring up fourth. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. They'll run on first down. Jennings. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jennings. And he'll get this up to about the 40. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Singletary. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and six. Now they try the right side here. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Tyron Matthew on the tackle. A gain of three. It's fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Black Knights. 
Charles, in this one, I think the storyline really, the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I'm going to stay with a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Oh. I, just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So for the home team here, the win...